Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the greatest and the best show that's on TV right now. House of the Dragon, episode 6. And from what I can tell from what's about to happen, I did watch uh, um, the preview for this episode um, just because I wanted to whip my my curiosity. <laughs> A little bit right I just wanted to whet my curiosity a little bit about what's going to happen next and apparently there is a 10 year time skip <laughs> coming up for this episode um, literally last episode was the last time we were gonna see Renera at that age and things are about to go down <laughs> it seems like shit ramped up by a thousand and we just have to deal with it okay we are here once again man thank you guys so much for tuning in so without no further ado we're gonna jump into house of the dragon episode six man can't wait see you guys at the end for the review Ready with the heavy breathing. And again. Queen has requested that the child be brought to her immediately. Mm -hmm. Why? <laughs> yeah. Damn. Alicent is a savage, bro. She. Really? You're literally. The fact that you're actually standing right now. The fact that she's actually standing, bro. Princess. How? The dress. Bruh. They haven't even cut the umbilical cord yet, man. Where are you going? She wants to see him. Now? I'm coming with you. I should hope so. Let me take him. She'll get no such satisfaction from you. Just take my arm at the least. I thought we were past this. We are turning back, all right? She can come to us, all right? Unless you wish to carry me down those fucking stairs. This is absurd. It is. It is upset. <laughs> but apparently, Allison don't give a shit. <laughs> Rhaenyra, you should be resting after your labors. I have no doubt that you would prefer that, Your Grace. You must sit. Tell you fetch a cushion for the princess. There's no need. Nonsense. No, she's late. Didn't you call for her? I'm a <laughs> what happy news this morning. Indeed, Your Grace. Where is he? He doesn't even Where have his arm grandson? anymore. His entire arm is gone. <laughs> there he is. Does the babe have a name yet? Well, we haven't spoken. Joffrey. He'll be called Joffrey. It's an unusual name for a Valerian. <clears throat> if you don't mind, Your Grace, your daughter has exerted herself heroically and should rest. <laughs> Do keep trying, Selena. Sooner or later, you may get one who looks like you. Hey, yo. Well, we all know that Eleanor is not his kids. 
He's our child, is he not? Our? This is bleeding. I deserve some say in the affairs of my own family. I think it's not your child. <laughs> Unless you over here. Are you busting at the club? Is he the real dad? Okay. Might I? Sir Harwin wishes to be introduced to Joffrey. Sir Harwin? Of course. Father, please may I hold Joffrey? No, no, no. Back to the dragon pit for you two. Come on. They send out a search party. Ah, right, so they all have an understanding. Call Vermax to heal Princess Eris. The Highland. <laughs> You must hold mastery over your dragon, my I dare la rota I got vespers of me. As Prince Egon has with Sunfire. Si you see how the Tyrius led to suit all the river bagos you really love in Tilsa. Once they're fully bound to you, they will refuse to take instruction from any other. Can I say it? Mm -hmm. Dracaris Vermax. Eamon, we have a surprise for you. What is it? Something very special. <laughs> You're the only one of us without a dragon. Indeed. And we felt badly about it. So, we found one. For you. Are you serious? That's insulting. <laughs> Why doesn't Eamon have a dragon? <laughs> Your grace. Eamon. What have you done? He did it again. After how many times you've been warned, must I have you confined to your chamber? He made me do it. As if you needed encouragement, your obsession with those beasts goes beyond understanding. They gave me a pig! A what? They said they found a dragon for me. The last ring has no legs at all. But it was a pig. You will have a dragon one day. He'll have to close an eye. I know it. Are you sure it wasn't our egg on that put them up to it? It's a wonder to me their eggs ever hatched. Why is that? You know why. No, I'm afraid I don't. Don't! Viserys. To have one child like that is a mistake to have three is an insult to the throne to you to house valarian and the match you battled so hard to make for her not to mention decency itself nature is a thing of mysterious works so he's still thinking that this is lenor's kids <laughs> how do you know the coin question of an allegation like the one you toy had would be dire. Do not speak of this again. I it doesn't seem in hindsight, it's what it represents for the universe they live in is it's a huge Did deal. In real life I wouldn't give a shit, but <laughs> sometimes seems so your grace. He'll do naught but make excuses for her. The Princess Rhaenyra is brazen and relentless. A spider who stings and sucks her prey dry. Spoiled cunt. Ooh. <laughs> that was beneath me, Your Grace. I apologize. Yo, he's still mad, bro. <laughs> oh my God, it's been ten years. <laughs> the peg. Was it your plot? No. It was Jace. It was the two of them. I couldn't be sure. You may carve him about as you wish at home, but in the world, we must defend our own. It was funny. Do you think Rhaenyra's sons will be your playthings forever? As things stand, Rhaenyra will ascend the throne and Jocerys Targaryen will be her heir. If Rhaenyra comes into power, your very life 
could be forfeit. Eamon's as well. She can move to cut off any challenge to her succession. Then I won't. You are the challenge! It's kind of seeking facts, though. Son. And what they know, what everyone in the realm knows, in their blood and in their bones, is that one day you will be our king. A toast to Egon the Conqueror, your exalted forebear. You joined our cause against Volantis in a century of blood. On the great dragon Valerian, he flew to our aid in Lys and burned a fleet of enemy ships, thus turning the tide. This brings me to some business. A proposal I wish to make? In the spirit is of this the, um... the alliance. Your aim is to marry one of our daughters, Your Excellence. You might have said so and spared us the history the lesson. Dorn? Dorn? <laughs> I would not count myself so deserving, my Lady Lena. <laughs> Lys and its allies rise again. The Triarchy has made common cause with Corin Martell of Dawn. At any moment, they may turn their sights north. Your family has dragons. Three now, mayhaps four in the future. My aim is to protect Pentos from the lustful eye of the Triarchy. Aid Pentos in this, as Egon once did. And my gratitude will fill your cup and overflow it. Your Excellence, we are travelers. We've already extended our visit here. It's a most generous offer. And one we will certainly entertain. What's going on here? I mean, obviously, she's with Damon. Siri. You are considering Prince Reggio's offer. We have a good life here. We're free to do as we please. Welcomed and feted. And eternally guessed. Precisely. We are without responsibility. The political scheming. The endless shifting of loyalties and succession is none of ours. They are using us. It's refreshing, isn't it? We are more than this, Damon. We are not minstrels or mummers who play at the pleasure of an alien prince. We are the blood of old Valeria. We don't belong here. Valeria is gone. We don't belong anywhere. At my end, I want to die a dragon rider's death. Not that of some fat country lord. Lena is. <laughs> it seems the younger boys could do better with a bit of your attention, Sir Kristen. You question my method of instruction, sir. Or I merely suggest that method be applied to all your pupils. Very well. Just share it. Oh, you spar with Aegon. <laughs> eldest son against eldest son. <laughs> Hardly a fair match. I know you've never seen true battle, sir, but when steel is drawn, a fair match isn't something anyone should expect. It's a Play harsh back. truth, but this 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 is personal. <laughs> this is, too, this is uh, awkward. Fighting back though. Nice aggression. I'll play. I'll deal with him. Close with him. Press him backward. Close with him. Stay on the attack. Use your feet. Don't let him get up. Stay on the attack. Enough! Ah! You dare to hands on me! They're gone! You forget yourself, Strong. That is the prince. This is what you teach, Cole. Your interest in the princeling's training is quite unusual, Commander. Most men would only have that kind of devotion toward a cousin. Or a brother. Or a son. He's like, 
like, yeah, I baited you and you fell for it. <laughs> been an incident in the yard. Don't play the fool with me, boy. Is Harwin his son? Intimacy with the Princess Rhaenyra is an offense that would mean exile and death for you, for her, for the children. It is rumor. Only. Spun by the princess's rivals. People have eyes, boy. Grace the king, it seems, will not accept what his eyes see. This flimsy shield alone stands between you and the headsman. The willful blindness of a father towards his child. I wish my father affected a similar blindness. Have I not? These many years. You have, Your Honor. Damn, he in a tough spot. I ain't even gonna lie, bruh. He, he's in a he's in a tough spot. He's in a really tough spot, man. Because <sighs> war is afoot again in the Stepstones, Rhaenyra. The Triarchy takes new life from its alliance with Dawn. They're waylaying ships and cargo. Carl's been fighting there. It's a few months, maybe. You seem very bored. <laughs> back at sea. Are you mad? Dark rumors are hunting us, Lionel. They nip at our heels. Questions about our son's parentage. Vile, disgusting insinuations. Insinuations, are they? They are our sons. Yours uh, oh. and mine. <laughs> at the very least, you cannot expect Lenor to actually care that much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, let let's not let's not try to bring him in on the, uh, on the party right now because you can't blame him for anything because it's like you guys you had an agreement. You know what I'm saying? You had an agreement. So at the end of the day, really, Lenor doesn't really have to to care that much. You know what I'm saying? And you can't say, oh, it's yours and mine. It's just like, no, they're not really my kids. And me and you know that. And we had an agreement. I get to, you know what I'm saying, sleep with other dudes. And you get to sleep with other dudes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And we're just, this is just, this is just what we're showing the people. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's a veil in front of their eyes. They don't know what's really going on. So behind closed doors, at the very least, you shouldn't be saying stuff like this. It's just like, your problems is kind of your problems you know what i'm saying it's just like i care about you you know to keep up the the charade but it's not you know give me more responsibilities than i need right <laughs> you know I, mean? I am owed some. you are owed nothing for 10 years you have indulged yourself at court bought the finest horses Drunk, the rarest of wines, fuck the lustiest boys. This was our agreement. I have not begrudged you. But. But what? You do not desert your post when the storm lashes. The wise sailor flees the storm as it gathers. Damn. <laughs> it's like that. Don't she might have Very a dragon well, eat you, my guy. You. As your princess and the heir to the throne, you are commanded to remain in King's Landing and at my side. Well, at the very least, you can do that. So, yeah, that's that's unfair, but, you know what I mean? I miss my brother, Damon. As I think, do you? Do you never long for home? No. I don't believe you. Believe what you please. You laud the virtues of Pentos, but you have no interest in it. If you did, you would venture into the city, but instead you spend your time here, in the library, reading accounts of the same dead dragon lords whose legacy you claim has no hold on you. Didn't know I was being so minutely observed. You do not sleep. Well, how can I, with you haunting my every move? The man I married was more than this. Sir Tyler. 
we should address the latest developments in the Stepstones, my lords. Ever be shut of that blasted place. If you ask me, I think the Blackwoods have the upper hand. No. We've moved on to the Stepstones, Lord Beesbury. And the trial <laughs> new alliance. Where is he? I was hoping our negotiations with Sunspear might persuade them to see reason. <laughs> to trust a Martel is to be disappointed. Well, we have left it undefended. There should have been fortifications built. Watchtowers, a fleet of ships, a garrison of soldiers sent to hold our ground. We cannot afford it. Our coffers are great, but not infinite. We must consider the cost to our subjects. I must the cost of war is greater. But we have been lax, and the old monster now lifts its head. Let us be finished. I'm surprised that the queen Wait. is on the council now. I wish to speak. Be seated. We're near I understand because she's the heir. I have felt the strife between our families of late, my queen. And for any offense given by mine, I apologize. My son, Jaceris, will inherit the Iron Throne after me. I propose we betroth him to your daughter, Helena. Ally ourselves. Really? Let them rule together. Are they cousins? A most judicious proposition. Additionally, if Cyrax brings forth another clutch of eggs, your son, Aemon, will have his choice of them. Uh, a symbol of our goodwill. Venera. She's, yeah, I was just about to say that. That I, <laughs> I was just about to say, oh, yeah, so her, well, her milk is... Um, the king and I thank you for your offer, and we will consider it duly. You must rest now, husband. She is sincere. She is desperate. She feels the earth washing away beneath her feet, and now she expects us to ignore her transgressions and for me to marry my only daughter to one of her plain featured sons. The proposal is a good plain one. Plain featured. <laughs> We're a family. Join hands and be stronger for it. You may do as you wish, husband. When I am cold in my grave. Damn. I might be Team Allison. I'm not. I'm not going to lie. And it, it, it's, it's a spit in her face because she had to. She has to go by the rules. You know what I'm saying? She adhered to all the rules. You know what I'm saying? She would stand the fact that she was a young girl, had to be married off to the king. So she had to adhere and stick by the rules and give this man heirs and then because of her not being you know what i'm saying still considering renera a friend and all of this other stuff it just goes to show you man that why she's upset i might be team allison because she she had to go through all of that she had to go by the rules to get where she she at and then you're still the heir and then you come now doing whatever you want to do. You're in an open relationship. You're doing whatever you got to do to make you happy. You still go in to inherit the, the highest prize in the kingdom. And you guys can let me know in the comment section whose team you are. Are you team Renera or are you team Allison? You know what I'm saying? Because I know people want to do whatever they want to do and not see the consequences of it. You know what I'm saying? If you do the right things, if you do the good things in life, don't you expect the greatest rewards, right? Unfortunately, life is unfair, but you still expect those great rewards because you're 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 following the line. You're you're you, you know what I'm saying? You're following the line. You know what I'm saying? You're not going against the, the the grain. You're following the line. You're not doing certain things. You're doing what you're supposed to do to get to that place. And because of one simple misstep. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's the situation where Allison is just like, you get to do whatever you want to do. You get to, you know what I'm saying? You get to be in an open relationship, you know, fuck whoever you want to, you want to have kids with whoever you want to. And you still get to, get to be raised to the highest point 
you know, the, the highest office, if you will, in the realm. Like, yeah, you know I'm saying I could understand her feelings, man. I really do. What might this errand be about, Lord Lionel? Your Grace, I feel it. I have come to resign my position as Hand of the King. The episode in the yard this morning, my son Halwyn has disgraced himself, and every fishwife in King's Landing will soon be telling the tale. But he's been expelled from the city, Watch, that seems punishment enough. Forgive me, Your Grace, it is not. You speak kind words, but there is a shadow over my house, and it grows ever darker. I can no longer serve you with integrity. What is this shadow? You must have your reasoning in plain language. She's hoping that he says it, but it would. I cannot. Yes. He can't say it because. Then I cannot accept this. My dear husband. I said no. You will continue in your service to the crown. I would then ask leave to take my son from court and escort him back to the family seat at Harrenhal. He is my heir and will be Lord of Harren's castle one day. It is time he assumed his duties there. Yeah. They get away with everything. Looking at him like, you know exactly why he's trying to resign. And you, <laughs> you didn't let him. <laughs> Hell is this? I took the liberty of beginning with that. Laris? Oh, it seems a sin to let such a pie grow cold. You did wisely. Oh, this is Laris. the guy that was no um, wine, talking surely. to told her about Without wine, him drinking the milk. I mean, mm. Rhaenyra drinking the milk. My lord husband refused to accept. Then he fell short of confessing my brother's transgressions. With his eruption in the yard, your brother all but confessed the truth himself. Truth is many flavors, your grace. Do you expect the king to doom his dear daughter to exile or even... It's a willful blindness. The king. Mm, he'd surely suffer the same affliction if it came to I it. would not. Lord Lionel is to escort Sir Harwin back to Harren Hall to watch over his seat whilst he continues to serve his hand. My father cannot give unbiased counsel to the king. It is now that I must rue the absence of my own father. He wouldn't hesitate to speak the truth to the king if Otto Hightower was still at hand. You cannot say, my queen, that your father would be impartial in this matter. No, but he would be partial to me. Facts. <laughs> in all of King's Landing, is there no one to take my side? For your crimes, you've been sentenced to death by hanging. What do you want with us? I am prepared to offer you mercy. If you're prepared to pay a little price. Teeth? <laughs> Tongue! We we'll love having babies in this show. I think she is pushing, my guy. I don't think she's not. I'm very sorry, my prince. I couldn't lay open the wound. Try to remove the infant by way of the blade. But I cannot say for a surety whether it lives. Why the man survive it? Damn, he in the same oh. position. They know that that's their real father? We will ex 
exchange letters by Raven. Wouldn't that be fun? It's how and strong my father. Am I a bastard? Yo, he asked you straight up. You are a Targaryen. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Boy's not stupid. We're finished here. We're leaving. What of your offer, Jace and Helena? I have been undermined and made a spectacle. They whisper about me in the corridor as well. I leave them to it. What of your position? You always said if you were absent from court, she would pour her honey in your father's ear. The wise sailor flees the storms it gathers. Yeah, you said that. Lainey. Bring him. Dale, I think they said this place is called. Oh, they're gonna be ambushed. That's that's what he was up to. So they cut out their tongue so that even if they get caught. They can't talk. Fire, is that what it did? Through them, you imagine you cheat the great darkness of its victory. You will persist forever in some form or another, as if they would keep you from the dust. But for them, you surrender what you should not. You may know what is the right thing to be done, but love stays the hand. Love is a downfall. Best to make your way through life unencumbered. If you ask me, blood mixed into the mortar. It is said to be a cursed place, but it passes judgment on all who pass beneath its gates. You, you pass judgment. Queen makes a wish. What servant of the realm would not strive to fulfill it? I assume you will write to your father now. I did not wish for this. <laughs> if you're certain, you will reward me when the time is right. Yo, Laris is a problem, bro. This man killed his own brother and father for this people are confused or they are surprised you know what i'm saying by the attention that this show is getting the popularity of it all how it's i've been you know watching some news about like checking out like the viewership and stuff like that for the show let's see how well it's doing and people don't understand what the, when the show was airing, right? I caught up late and then I watched season eight with everybody else, right? Um, and people don't understand that Game of Thrones is, you know what I'm saying? It's a once in a lifetime experience when it comes on to entertainment. You do not get this kind of thing every day you know what i'm saying and that's the reason why i tell people even though because of season eight because we didn't get that payoff right game of thrones dropped out of my top 10 tv shows i had it at number one and i'm talking about i caught up to, to it late 
right and i had it at my number one tv show of all times and if you've been around this channel for a long time you will understand that there are shows that came after that that i watched after that that i considered so good you know what i'm saying if game of thrones just had a decent ending it would still be my number one show of all times but because they messed that up so bad and trust me it was a hard road for me to take it from that spot it was very hard because of what it represents the viewership for the show has been increasing i think it increased by like three percent and i'm talking about yeah it might sound like a low amount when i say three percent but it's increasing every week millions i'm talking about millions you know what i'm saying i think they hit the 30 million mark. i'm talking about when the show airs you know what i'm saying like people are tuning in to watch house of the dragon because we have returned to greatness you know what i'm saying and i think that a lot of people have watched tv shows as well they 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 don't understand what game of thrones was doing when it was when it was on the people that probably never seen the show they don't understand they don't know the greatness that game of thrones can what it can be it is is i think every person on this planet could watch the show and enjoy it for what it is kid barring kids kids should not be watching game of thrones okay don't <laughs> don't put your kids in front of the tv to watch this show but every adult in this world man we could watch the show and find something in it to enjoy you know what i'm saying this episode of house of the dragon was of course you know nothing really crazy like any of the other episodes happened but this 10 year time skip of course they got to set up the things that is gonna come you know what i'm saying i would imagine that that's what they're doing so they have to establish that yo renera and allison is just they are mortal enemies right now you know what i'm saying they are clear enemies even though Rhaenyra tried to mend fences and she still kind of got the backhand because Alicent is not with it. And as I said during the episode, I feel like I'm team Alicent because she feels like she's been following all the rules and getting butt kissed for it. You know what I'm saying? And she was, she's, she remember Alicent was the one that was saying that Rhaenyra would be a good queen. She's not going to push her son into that position. Until her father said to her, it's like, what do you think is going to happen if, you know, Egan still exists at the end of the day, it still exists. Now we could sit here and speculate and say Rhaenyra would never hurt Egon or Aemon or her daughter. I don't remember what her daughter name is. We could sit here and say that, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, Rhaenyra, but you never know what could push, like if, if she, what if one day Egan, Egan decides, right? Suppose he gets up one day and decides to, you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, that's my throne. That should be my throne. You know what I'm saying? And try to go against them. And Rhaenyra decides to cut that shit in the bud and just destroy the entire, that side of the, the bloodline, right? All her, you know, cousins, whatever the situation is. Suppose she decides to do that. She could do that when her father dies she could right and i'm saying this renera is a very in some ways very kind-hearted so i don't blame her for anything that's happened or anything like that that is her choice to make she chose to be in this position and she's being hated for it as i said in the modern world she would receive some scrutiny for what she's doing but at the same time she would be widely you know what she's doing would be widely accepted nobody would give a shit but because there's no real really repercussions of what she's doing you know what i'm saying you have you want to have sex with some other dude and have kids with him fine 
You know what I'm saying? Nobody cares. You get what I'm saying? But in the universe that they live in, man, Allison understands the consequences of doing something like that. Rhaenyra does, but she does not care. And the fact that Allison has to be continuously doing her duty, taking care of a sick king, taking care of a man she doesn't even love. She's getting the bad end of the deal for doing the right things. Rhaenyra gets to do whatever she wants and she still gets to inherit the high and throne. It's not fair to her. So that's the reason why I'm on team Allison for now. <laughs> I don't know. And you can see that she didn't want this. Laris is a savage. This man, in some ways, he reminds me of Littlefinger. In some ways, he reminds me of Littlefinger. Um, as in how he goes about doing things. But he's there's this sinister thing about him you know what i'm saying there's this sinister thing about him that's just a little a little thing like this man just killed his father and his brother burned them alive you know what i'm saying for the queen because it's like the queen commands and we obey <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's just it, it, it it's it's insane where this is going and bruh the situation that's going on with damon as well where you know what i'm saying lena decided you know what i'm saying i'd rather both of us die me and the babe you know what i'm saying i don't know we we uh, to be honest to be honest we really don't know if she had the child or not if they cut it out or not because when she went out there, did she, she still looked like she had the baby inside her belly, to be honest. I don't know if she just got up and just left after, you know, she probably overheard what they were discussing. I don't know if she went out there with the baby. I don't know if she died with the baby. Maybe you guys can clear that up for me in the comment section. Let me know or whatever. Um, or maybe not. Let me find out later. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't go to the comment section. So some people, they get carried away with, with comments and, and start quoting stuff from the book. So don't do that. In any case, the, the situation is Damon is, ex, you know what I'm saying? He, in some way, Damon doesn't, he cares, but he doesn't want to care. And I think that's the dilemma that's going with him. Like he cares about what's happening in King's Land and he cares about, you know, the fact that he is not the heir to the throne anymore. He cares about that stuff. He just pretends not to care because he just wants, he just wants to forget about it because it's just like, you know, in, in terms of himself and his personality, it's just like, what am I going to do? I can't, I can't kill my brother. I can't, you know, kill my niece. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I might as well forget about it. I'm just going to be scorned um lena is basically trying to convince him it's just like you're a better man than this like you know I, you know let's go back you know what i mean let's go back um to to um to where the place is the the sea to the sea stones at, at sea stone is this the step stones the sea stone <laughs> i don't remember wherever they're from <laughs> the um the the valarians um where they're from that's where uh, was, she was saying to go back there and, you know, and live. She wants her kids to grow up there, not over here where they're trying to form some alliance and, you know, um, you know, watching out for those other people who are trying to cause war and there's war on the horizon. Like they're getting, they're really getting prepared for war. Um, but it's kind of weird because is all these kingdoms going to be fighting for themselves because it seems like even though there seems to be some sort of alliance there's also division among the alliance so it's it's just it's it's so weird and and you know it, it's a weird dynamic that's going on right now between all the houses because it's like people are proposing to join forces while we have this in-house fighting that's going on. Rhaenyra decides to go to Dragonstone. Um, she should have been there because, you know, you know, she inherited that when she was named the heir, I believe, or from 
it was promised to her from she was born or something like that. She finally decided to go there. And of course, Lenor just has to follow, you know what I'm saying? Because of course, he's not the one in charge of the relationship, of course, because, you know, he just wants to indulge in his, you know, thing. So you can't even blame him. Um, he didn't want any, he doesn't want any of that responsibility. And that's cool. But the fact that you're married to this woman, she can call on you whenever she wants to and order you whenever she wants to as well. Cause she's the heir to the high end throne. You know what I'm saying? Um, she, she proposed something to Alicent and Alicent turned that down immediately. She's like, that's cool and all, but nah, you don't, you don't, you don't get to get off the hook that easy. You know what I'm saying? And I don't, in my opinion, I don't think she deserves to get off the hook that easy either. You know what I'm saying? Um, they're saying, forget about it. You know, we're all family, whatnot. But I can understand things from both of their perspectives. I do understand things from both of their perspectives. But the thing, the thing that I feel, I feel like Allison has been through a lot and she still follows the rules. She still follows the rules and she's getting like side pocketed for it. I know everybody wants to side with, with Renera. I would imagine that, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm not really, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not the majority. I would imagine that Team Allison is definitely in the minority amongst the fans that watch the show because, you know, everybody wants to be free and do whatever they want with no consequences. It's it's literally the world that we live in, to, <laughs> that we live in today, that that's how people want to live. They want to live and do whatever they, they, they want to do as human beings and you know, with no accountability. That's how they want to live, even though life proves different, but at the same time, that's what they want. So most people are going to go to that side because that's what they want. But I'm a person like this, man. I look at the facts of what's going on and I feel for Alicent a lot more than I feel for Rhaenyra. Rhaenyra has literally kind of gotten in some ways if she wasn't forced to do certain things, she would not have had to do them. You get what I'm saying? So in certain ways, she's kind of always gotten what she want, but except for the whole marriage thing, right? Even that the, the King had conceded on and she, you know, because of the incident between her and Damon and, you know, Kristen, you know, that kind of went off the rails and his, and her father decided to no, this time you're going to do what I say, because you're not listening. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, the way, how I look at game of Thrones, the way I view this show house of the dragon, man, is just, this is, this is beautiful. It's really good to come back and re and, and watch the show. Um, anything in the vein of game of Thrones. Like I heard that they're making also a, um, a sequel of sorts of, you know, with, um, Kit Harrington. Is that, her, is that his name? I don't remember. Um, with, um, John, the character, John. So that's no matter what people say, people are going to watch, it. they're going to watch it. And of course people were easing, you know, easing into it. You know what I'm saying? Episode one, but people are now remembering the greatness of where the, the heights of game of Thrones of what it was and so those fans are coming back now to house of the dragon because of people raving over it like i talk about this show even after you know what i mean um with other people that have watched the show since i've reacted to it um so it's been great conversation you know what i'm saying if you guys want to have a conversation with us we have a, a special channel over on the discord that you know what I mean? I'm trying to get people over there so that we can start discussing the House of the Dragon and stuff like that. You know, with, you know what I'm saying? If you guys want to post spoilers, of course, there's a spoiler blo blocker on, on Discord as well. If you guys want to go over there, have discussions about House of the Dragon. For those of you who have read the books, you're probably in all of these different forums and stuff like that discussing it. Come over to the Discord, man. The link is down in the description. Join the Discord. Go to the Game of Thrones channel and we can have a blast. You know what I'm saying? Just don't spoil anything because I know you book readers, you love to, you know what I'm saying? Express that you've read, you've read the books, you know, and I don't blame you for it. 
you know what i'm saying i don't blame you for it um it is what it is um so yeah man great experience love this episode it was it was good but we got to start looking at some pete some other people now that has joined the game of thrones leave a like leave a comment i'll catch you guys for the next one man peace